your deadlift look like something like this? A lot of rounding through the lower back and the hip area? Well, this video is for you. So if your lower back looks like that when you deadlift, one of the things we want to look at is we want to prepare ourselves for that position. So lumbar flexion isn't a bad thing. It's almost unavoidable with heavy loads, especially in a conventional deadlift. So today we're going to take you through some accessories that you can use to prepare your body for lumbar flexion. So a really nice way to start off training lumbar flexion if you've never done it before is something like a Jefferson curl. So I'm going to take Chris through one now. So effectively all we really need is like a lightweight dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell and something where we're slightly elevated like a small box. So what Chris is going to do is he's going to pick up the kettlebell, he's going to be standing on top of the box and effectively all he's going to think about doing is he's going to think about slumping forward and trying to touch the ground with the kettlebell. So he's going to stay within a comfortable range. He should be feeling stretching throughout the entire posterior chain. Lower back muscles, upper back muscles, hamstrings, and then just standing back up again. So the biggest thing to think about with this here is we just want to have lots and lots of heel pressure. So we want to feel weight in our heels as we're bending over as far as possible. Over time, we want to progressively load this like anything else. So we want to start with a nice comfortable weight and just build this like any other exercise. So once we've started to expose ourselves to some lower back rounding with a Jefferson, the next thing we want to start training more of is training our ability to push down with our heel. So we're going to take Chris through a step up as this is a really nice introduction exercise for training this. So same thing, same equipment, we just need a box and then like a weight, a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And effectively Chris is going to be holding it in opposite hand to leg. So he's stepping up with his left, he's holding it in his right. All he wants to be thinking about here is planting down through his heel as hard as he can. So he's trying to generate as much downward force as possible as he steps up. Then he steps back down again and just rinse and repeat for the amount of reps that you're doing. So the most important thing is that that heel is constantly planting down to the ground. Because the better we get it planting down through our heel, the stronger we'll feel in lumbar flexion. So we're handing us off today. If your deadlift looks a little bit like what Tom was doing before, give these accessories a try.